Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss about Newton's Raphson method. So the Newton Raphson formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn by f dash of xn. Okay, so this is the Newton's formula and the condition for convergence of NR method. There is a condition for the Newton Raphson method. The condition is modulus of f of x into f dash of x divided by f dash of x the whole square which is less than 1 or the same condition can be written as mod f of x into f double dash of x which is less than modulus of f dash of x the whole square. So the Newton's formula is x n plus 1 equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n. So this is the formula we are going to use for the iteration and this is the condition for convergence of n or method. So important two mark question under the Newton Raphson method. So the condition is mod f of x into f double dash of x which is less than mod f dash of x the whole square important two mark question. So first uh, we can see the first problem using Newton's iterative method find the root between 0 and 1 of x cube equal to 6x minus 4 correct to two decimal places. So in the question using Newton's iterative method. So Newton Raphson method is also called it as Newton's iterative method. Find the root between 0 and 1 of the equation. This is the given equation. So for this equation the root lies between 0 and 1 it is given in the question itself. Uh, and we have to find the solution like this only correct to two decimal places. So we have to approximate the answer to two decimal places. So first we will take the given equation f of x. f of x is equal to it is given x cube equal to 6x minus 4. So we can write this as x cube minus 6x plus 4 equal to 0. And in the formula we have xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn by f dash of xn. So we have f of x that means we need to find f dash. So f dash of x is equal to differentiation of x cube is 3x square and differentiation of minus 6x that is minus 6 and differentiation of constant is 0. So f dash of x is equal to 3x square minus 6 and it is given in the question the root lies between 0 and 1. So if suppose it is not given in the question what we are going to do? We are supposed to find where the root lies between that means in the given f of x we have to substitute x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 like that we have to substitute and we have to find out where the root lies between. Okay. So here it is given in the question 0 and 1. So what we are going to do is we are going to substitute the value x is equal to 0 in f of x. So first value is 0 so put x is equal to 0. That means f of 0 equal to in this equation put x is equal to 0. So the what will happen 0 minus 0 plus 4 that means it is a positive quantity is not it and put x is equal to 1. So f of 1 is equal to that means 1 cube minus 6 into 1 plus 4 that is 1 minus 6 plus 4 5 minus 6 that is minus 1 that is negative answer. Okay. So the root lies between 0 and 1. When you are finding the root if suppose it is not given 0 and 1 is not given. So this is the procedure we have to put first x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 x is equal to 2 like that. We have to get the opposite signs okay, positive and negative okay, like that if it comes we can say that the root lies between 0 and 1. If suppose this is also positive we are going to find the f of 2. Okay, we are supposed to find f of 2. If suppose you are getting f of 2 is negative, we can say that the root lies between 1 and 2. This is the way we have to find out if suppose the question is not given 0 and 1. If it is not given in the question, we have to find like that only. So here obviously it is given positive and negative. So the alternative sign, opposite signs comes, we can say that the root lies between the two points. Therefore, the root lies between, hence the roots lies between 0 and 1. Is it clear how to find out the root lies between where and where? Okay. So root lies between 0 and 1. It is given in this question that is the reason why we are writing like this. If suppose it is not given in the question we have to find out the points like this 0, 1, 2 etc. How to find out? alternative sign that is positive and negative opposite sign should come you can stop this the root lies between 
the first two that is a positive and negative between these two points the root is lies ok. So, the root lies between 0 and 1 after this what we have to do we are going to find the modulus value of f of 0 and f of 1 modulus value of f of 0 is 4 and modulus value of f of 1 is 1 because modulus means we can get the absolute value. So, modulus of f of 0 is 4 and modulus of f of 1 is 1. So, what is the condition since modulus of f of 1 which is less than modulus of f of 0 is not it what is the modulus value of f of 1 that is our 1 number 1 which is less than 4 obviously. So, the required root ok the required root is nearer to nearer to 1 is it clear we have to take the modulus value of the points f of 0 and f of 1 the value of mod f of 1 is 1 and value of mod f of 0 is 4. So, obviously the root lies between 0 and 1 that means the first initial value of the root is 1 this point we have supposed to take ok. So, f of 1 majority students used to take like this f of modulus 1 values 1 which is less than 4. So, the point the required root is 1 in this question obviously this is also the same point that is 1 suppose some other number is here students used to take that value as a root ok. So, you have to remember in your mind that the modulus value of the point ok the point is the nearer root. So, our x naught may be 1 ok. So, we have to consider our x naught as 1 ok. So, Newton's formula will go. So, the nr formula is definitely you have to write the formula x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n this is the nr formula. So, in this one first we are going to put x that is our first value of x that is x naught ok let x naught equal to 1 is it clear how we got x naught value modulus of f of 1 is less than f of 0 therefore, this is our uh, approximate root of the given equation. So, our x naught is 1 if suppose I am getting mod f of 2 is less than f of 0 means our x naught value is 2 is it clear not this value the point which is inside the modulus that is our x naught. So, x naught is 1 and first iteration put n equal to 0 ok. So, put n equal to 0 what will happen 0 plus 1. So, x 1 equal to x naught minus f of x naught divided by f dash of x naught wherever n comes you put it as 0 ok. So, we have taken x naught as 1. So, f of x naught and f dash of x naught we are supposed to find it is given in the question f of x what is our f of x you can do it like this only. So, f of x is x cube minus 6 x plus 4. So, f of x naught x cube minus 6 x plus 4 and f dash of x is 3 x square minus 6. So, in this one only we are supposed to find f of x naught and f dash of x naught that means what we have to put f of x naught equal to x naught is 1. So, 1 cube minus 6 into 1 plus 4 that is what 5 minus 6 so minus 1 and f dash of x naught f dash of x naught is here we have to put x naught is 1. So, 3 into 1 square minus 6 that is minus 3 ok. So, our f dash of x naught value is minus 3 after find out these values that is f of x naught and f dash of x naught after find out these two values back to here. So, substitute the x naught x naught is 1 minus f of x naught f of x naught is minus 1 ok. So, minus 1 divided by f dash of x naught that is minus 3 ok. So, this is nothing but what will happen minus into minus this will become as plus again it is minus. So, 1 minus 1 by 3 that is 3 minus 1 2 by 3. So, using calculator you can get the answer as 0 0.666.
okay but in the question it's given that correct to two decimal places so we can write our x1 as more than 5 okay so we can write this as 0 0.67 this is the first approximation of given equation okay this is our x1 likewise we have to do the iteration until we get the two consecutive values are equal okay then we, if it is equal we can stop the iteration so what is our next iteration put n is equal to 1 put n is equal to 1 so what will happen x n plus 1 so x 2 equal to x 1 minus f of x 1 divided by f dash of x 1 likewise how we have done the first method f of x f dash of x f of x naught f dash of x naught likewise f of x 1 f dash of x 1 ok and then we have to come for the formula like, like, like that only we have to do the problem. So, here also we have to find out f of x 1 and f dash of x 1 here I am writing the values directly f of x 1 answer is using calculator you can get the answer 2.8 and f dash of x 1 is minus 4.653 ok. So, here x 1 is x 1 value just now we got it 0 0.67 that value only we are supposed to substitute in the f of x and f dash of x ok 0 0.67 minus 0 0.28 divided by minus 4.653. So, using calculator you can get the x 2 answer as x 2 equal to 0 0.7 73 it is correct to two decimal places ok likewise we have to go for the next iteration. So, the next iteration is put n is equal to 2 put n is equal to 2. So, what will happen x 3 equal to x 2 minus f of x 2 by f dash of x 2 here f of x 2 answer is uh, 0. 009 and f dash of x 2 answer is minus 4.401. So, substituting that x 2 is just now we got that is a uh, x 2 is 0 0.73 minus 0 0.09 divided by f dash of x 2 that is minus 4.401. So, using calculator we can get our x 3 as 0 0.73. Okay. So, this is our next approximation correct to two decimal places. Now, look at our x 2, x 2 answer is 0 0.73. Now, you got the x 3 answer is also 0 0.73. So, here x 2 equal to x 3 equal to 0 0.73. What is our that means what the root is therefore, the root is 0 0.73. Okay, because it is given in the question correct to two decimal places. So, we can stop the iteration up to this. Okay, so, either you can do like this or if you want you can put the table. So, as we have discussed in the Jacobi's method. So, iteration okay, first iteration, second iteration, third iteration like that you can do. Okay, so, this is our x or that means x naught x 1 x 2 x tra and this is our f of x r. Likewise also we can write first value is 0 0.67, 0 0.73 and 0 0.73. At the same time our f of x is 0 0.28, 0 0.09 and 0 0.009. Okay. Likewise we can write the solution in the table manner also if you are not able to do like this and all in the examination if you do not have time means you can stop up to this it does not matter ok. So, this is what the NR method is it clear to you all NR method is nothing but x n plus 1 formula is also very important x n plus 1 equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash of x n convergence of NR method is mod f of x 
into mod f, f double dash of x is less than mod f dash of x the whole square. So, this is the condition for convergence of NR method. So, using NR method how to do the problem first we will take the given f of x and we are supposed to find f dash of x. If it is given in the question root lies between 0 and 1 we are doing like this or otherwise we have to put if suppose this line is not given in the question we have to put the x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2 like that. How long we can do like that one until we get the opposite sign we will do like that. So, if you are getting the opposite sign we can stop that. So, the root lies between 0 and 1 hence the root lies between 0 and 1. So, after that we have to take the modulus value we have to take modulus of f of 1 less than modulus of f of 0 in this question. Therefore, our root is nearer to f of 1 that is 1. So, the NR formula and then we have to go for the first iteration that is n equal to 0 substituting the values at the same time we have to find out f dash of x and f of x and f dash of x f of x naught and f dash of x naught substituting all the values we can get the first approximation and then we have to put n equal to 1 we will get the second approximation x 2 likewise here also f of x 1 and f dash of x 1 and then we got the value of x 2 likewise for the next iteration x 3 x 3 equal to x 2 minus f of x 2 by f dash of x 2. Here also we have to find out f of x 2 and f dash of x 2. Find out all the values substituting in the formula we can get our x 3 as 0 0.73. In this problem we are getting second and third iteration itself the values are equal that is the reason why we are stopping the iteration or otherwise we have to do the iteration method until we get the consecutive values are equal we can stop the iteration. Okay. If it is given in the question correct to two decimal places you can stop up to only two decimal places. If it is not given in the question choice is ours either we can write up to two decimal or three decimal also it does not matter. Okay. Thank you for watching.